Hello friend, my name is Asindra, and today I'm going to continue playing for you Magical Otoge CL by Batensan. Now last time we learned about how Anton nearly died saving CL when she got kidnapped as a child because the uh, knights were uh, part of the royal family and wanted to be part or wanted to take over the kingdom instead of the king appointing a successor. But anyway, now we're about to leave Irland. Now then, I guess it's time to decide where to go next. But I don't really know about the places around here. I don't really know where I want to go next. A lot of places should be livening up around this time of the year. It's nearing the span of the holy calendar after all. The Holy cal Calendar, Calendar, Calendar! Mm. Oh right, we were supposed to go back to Fjord to see the flower fields as, for the, at this time. All this time is really passed, passed really fast, huh? I don't know why I'm reading things weird. That was, anyway. It sure has. Almost too many things happened. It was certainly eventful. For better or worse, huh? It doesn't feel too long ago that I left Amarine. I don't think I want to keep traveling forever. I just wanted to see the world a bit. I was probably a little hasty when I left, but I'm still glad that I did. Besides, I'm positive now that the world isn't such a bad place after all. I don't mind going back to Amarine to tell the k uh, to tell my dad that. Haha, <laughs> 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 well said, princess. Hello, Evan. Even enters dramatically, as always. And there's no need to be nervous about your dad, princess. All is fine now. And just as you changed, he changed too. And all is good with the world once more. Is it just me, or are you being more dramatic than usual? <laughs> Oops. Uh, there. And what are you talking about anyway? Here you go, princess. Rejoice. Even hands you a letter with Amarine's royal seal on it. It's from your pops, princess. That's Amarine's seal, all right. And this is indeed your hand your father's handwriting. Your handwriting's father. The handwriting spawned or er, was spawned from this father. I just sorry. But what? How did you get this? Ooh, hold those expressions, you three. Even takes a picture of your surprise faces. Hey. You can make photographs? That's right. I've been sending your dad a log of your adventures. And the crazy junk that went down in Ben's dungeon was the real finisher. Don't worry, though. I haven't ever concluded pictures of your two guards here. So you have been stopping us this entire time. One story at a time, please. Allow me to explain what happened. The king anxiously checked his desk. There haven't been any new letters about CL lately. I really have gotten used to receiving them. Even though I nearly had a heart attack when I first saw the pictures. But it's been so long. Nothing happened to her, has it? Something shines in the room. Even meets the king. Who are you? I'm just a humble traveler, your majesty. Do not call me that. What? Sheesh, everybody doesn't want to be called anything nowadays. <laughs> I am not king because of some foolish divine right. A governor cannot truly be, be if they view the people as any less than themselves. And that is all. Oh ho, I see how it is. I sure wish you'd use that s some. Blah, 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 blah. I sure wish you used some of that rationale with your daughter too, King. Ah, so you're the one who sent me those letters and photographs. That's right. I had to send them the old-fashioned way up until now, but I can give you the latest ones in person. So she's safe. That's right. And since we're in person, I can have a little chat with you. About Ciel? 
There is nothing to discuss. Oh, look at yourself. Do you really mean that? Even shows your dad the photos from Ven's dungeon. His expression softens when he sees how much you love your adventure. Hmm. Look at that smile on her. How long has it been since you've seen an expression like that from her? She's not just running into danger. She's a good and honest kid, King. It's about time that you see that too. I just need to know one thing. Anything. Who are you? Have you been stalking my daughter? <laughs> so, judging from that gentle look on your face when you look at these photos, I'm feeling that you finally approve now. What took you so long? Do not ignore the question! I feel like this has happened before. Yeah, maybe she and her old man are a little alike after all. Anyway, if you really do approve, we should let her hear all about the happy news, shouldn't we? As the jolly messenger, allow me to deliver a letter from you to her. While shuffling through the pictures from Ven's dungeon, your dad sees a picture of you and Evin smiling happily together. Fine. Hmm, what's that photo over there? Yikes, I wasn't supposed to give you that one. Well, this is awkward. Huh. <laughs> Here, take it back. After giving back the photo, your dad starts walking away. Where are you off to, King? I have a letter to write. Hmm. Oh, we should take a fun little selfie together. I can do that. And why would we do that? This is a monumental moment, King. I might. It might be hard to believe, but just a letter anyway. Besides, it, be it would put a big smile on the princess's face. I can't believe he actually fell for that. Like, really? Did you really have to take a picture with the king? It is difficult to believe in a way, but I suppose the proof is here. I can't believe it! You did all of that, even? And the picture of you and my dad is really here. It sure is. What do you think, princess? I can't believe it! <laughs> he looks so angry compared to you, but he's still there! Even, you're amazing! Not at all a problem, princess. But I still did all of this behind your back. You aren't angry at all? Of course not, just surprised and confused. Is that so? Good to hear. You have no sense of street smart, CL! Sorry. Is it? Oh, and before I forget... Evin gives the teleport- you the teleportation pendant. Why do I, I- I'm skipping words and then I'm reading them backwards, I don't know why. And now you and your guards can go back to Amarine and whatnot whenever you feel like it. Maybe you should go back to Fior first, though. Your pops probably need some time to recover from all that shock. <laughs> I understand. I'll definitely visit him later. Good to hear it. So, why were you stalking us in the first... Even grabs and activates the teleportation pendant. Alright, to Fior it is. Pulling the entire group together, Even uses the teleportation pendant. You arrive at Fior in the blink of an eye. Wow, Ven gave us some pr something pretty amazing, huh? He better have, after all that humiliation. You look around. Wait, where's he Ven? Did he already leave? I didn't even get a to thank him yet. Just check a tree, Jesus. Watch <laughs> Even watches from afar, just like he always has. No need for thanks, princess. I'm just a guy who does whatever he wants, after all. I'm the most selfish of them all. I'm also not one for sappy goodbyes, so... Maybe another time. Soon after, the three of you met with Iona again. She led the three of you to a special VIP entrance to the flower fields. Thanks for waiting all this time. Here we are. The three of you have the flower fields all to yourself today. Friends around all you want. Although there's one problem. What is it? Oh, it's
it's nothing big. You'll see what I mean. Oops. Huh? Alright. <coughs> what the hell was that? Okay. I have to go now, CL. Enjoy your time here. Thank you again, Iona. Don't mention it. See ya. Iona leaves. So, these are the gates to the flower fields. Fior works in tandem with the nature spirits here, right? It looks like the nature spirits also voluntarily do the management. I suppose the spirits would know the condition of the fields the best. That's right, youngin! Oh, um, hello. CL, right? Iona told us all about you three. Thanks for helping her a while back. Kindness from strangers really gets to the root of my heart. <laughs> Florian's face. Just leave it be, Florian. Or do you mean just leave it be? Would you say that? Oh, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Patience is a virtue. Looks like Anton is trying to bear it, too. The wood spirits here are truly thankful for you helping Iona a while back. But even so, rules are rules. You sinful party of three. S sinful? Which part? The flower field gates only allow for solos, couples, and groups of four or more. By the way, the solo gate sends you to a field where you're solo, alone. So you can't all just waltz into the solo gate and expect to see each other. That's... but why? Groups of three are doomed for tragedy! Honestly, I just think it should have been polyamory with all of them, except for the Anton and Florian thing might have been a problem, but you know. Polyamory does not always have to have everyone in love with everyone else. Okay? Anyway. Come on, think of every group of three you know. Uh, <laughs> it ha it's absolutely harrowing, I know. If they have to make you pair one day, someone's bound to get left behind. So you might as well deal with it early. So this is the problem that Iona was talking about. <laughs> what should we do? We she could go into the floor gate if Iona came with us, but she's busy. She already went through the trouble of setting up today for us, too. Huh, I wonder if Evin is around. Evin, are you here? Hmm. We don't need him around. Well, I guess he's not here. It wouldn't be fair if someone had to go alone. So maybe we should all just go into the solo gate. That will not do, Lady Ciel. One of us should accompany you just in case anything happens. I agree. But go with Anton, Lady Ciel. Florian. What? But Florian? It's fine. Enjoy it, you two. Why else did we come all the way here again? Florian gently pushes you and Anton on the back towards the gate. Florian, what are you... Come on, just go. Oh well. See you again soon then, okay? Of course, see you. You and Anton leave through the gate. <sighs> what did I tell you? It's one of the ways of this world. Yeah. But I don't care as long as she's happy. I decided that a long time ago. She's in good hands, too. For once, I can rest easy. Well said, youngin. <laughs> Later, Evin also reached the flower gates. This is probably my favorite part of everything. Ah, uh, uh, I was trying to use the... Anyway, sorry. Uh, am I late? I was, it was harder to sneak in here than I thought because of all the guarding spirits. I am using the wrong voice. What's up, youngin? We're closed for today. Oh, wait a minute. You're friends with Ciel. That's right. Total kindred spirits. We're so close that one time she stopped me from getting on a plane at an airport, you know? Oh, is that so? So youthful. Sorry to tell you, but she already went into the gate for two people. The gates physically won't allow you to enter unless it's a pair. Not a problem. Let's roll like a log, wood spirit. What? Yeah. 
I like your style. A lot of people do. <laughs> he <laughs> grabbed the spirit and took <laughs> Best part. Wow, I wonder wh just where this place is anyway. Also, it's interesting that he can take the wood spirit in with him and have the couples um, be able to see the other couples as well. You would think that that would also be a feature where they would just not let them see the same flower fields in groups of twos. Or, uh, because they don't do that with the solo ones. Anyway. Wow, I just, I wonder just where this place is anyway. Seeing this huge field makes me want to run around in it. Which is indeed quite a sight. This is a very common place. Especially after everything that happened. I know what you mean. Who would have known that leaving the castle like that would have ended up in me remembering you? Yes. I may have never told you the truth if it were not for this journey. I believed myself to use the past as a way of growing stronger, but perhaps I was subconsciously lingering on it. No, I am sure of it. It took me quite some time to realize it, but I wanted you to remember me. And now that you have, I couldn't be more thankful. I'm happy that I remember too. It's a little weird to think about how I acted really familiar with you back then. But you know, you were really cute as a kid. Cute? Oh, uh, nothing. I apologize. You surprised me once again. In the past, I was often told that I was too serious for a child. I never expected to be called something like cute. But that time is already far away now. It's liberating to know that I don't have to hide the past from you anymore. Of course! It's too bad that we had to split up like that for so many years, but... Now we can make up for all that lost time by making out. Yes, of course. And now I can assure you nothing but honesty in the future. In fact, there has been something on my mind lately. Ah, uh, oh, okay. As a knight, it may sound blasphemous for me to say this, but I can't help but wonder what would have happened if I was able to stay as your knight throughout all these years. I don't believe I've had thoughts like these in the past. I wonder what's come over me. Whoa, don't tell me. No way, right? Maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, perhaps I already know why. Uh, care to explain why that? I cannot say. Why not? It's not important. That's what you used to say when you tried to keep me from thinking about my memories. Even so, this is a different matter. I am being unprofessional. Who says you have to? I'm not a real princess. Even if I was, it shouldn't matter. Don't even worry about how my dad is your boss or anything. Ignore that last part. Well, you don't have to say anything right this moment. I hope it just doesn't worry you too much, Anton. If you ever need anyone to talk to, I'll be right here. I know you will. However, in that case, perhaps it would be better to be honest right now. CL. That's me! I'm going to tell you something serious right now. And because you were the one who asked... I won't steal your memory, even if you find that what I am about to say is burdensome, understand? Got it! Hmm. I shouldn't tell you something like this. Perhaps it's far too late for me. It seems that I've come to have feelings past what a knight should have for their master. I've fallen in love with you, CL. I... that? There is no need for you to force yourself to return my feelings. Just telling you the truth was enough. D don't But I've already confessed. Er, no, I mean... I feel the same way, Anton. Truly. Of course. I never thought that you'd actually feel the same way, much less confess. I see. It seems that we'll take need to take... T bleh. It seems that we'll need to take more time to better understand each other. Yeah. To think that you felt such a way for someone like me. What do you mean, someone like me? 
Anton, you're... Yes. N never mind. Well, anyway, can't we just stay here together a little longer? Yes, of course. Whoops. And maybe... Hold hands? Pardon? Never mind, it wasn't important. <laughs> it appears that I have a bad habit of doing that. I apologize. I had heard you the first time. Aw, and some distance away. Finally, there they are. Why is this field so ridiculously big, Wood Spirit? What can I say? You're not supposed to intrude and eavesdrop on others' love lives. Intrude, please. I'm a guardian angel. If you say so. <laughs> it's true. Well, I can sense what you feel right now. You've done a lot for her, haven't you? I'm not sure why, though. What, did someone pay you to watch over her or something? Pay? Not at all. Hmm? Are you alright? That I am. I see. I'll be heading out first. Back first, even. Bah. Try not to die of heartbreak, will you? The spirit leaves you then alone. Consider me in your debt, wood spirit. Up until now, I had completely forgotten the reason why I stuck, up, stuck around her. Returning a runaway princess for a hypothetical reward, huh? That time seems so far away now. I wouldn't even consider it now. I'd personally duel anyone if they tried to pull a stunt like that. Well, it seems you seems like you got your happy ending. This journey sure was a wild ride. You changed, and I changed without realizing it. I hope your honesty rubbed off on me at least a little bit. I told you in the beginning that I like honest people, didn't I? It wasn't a bad journey. I'd go as far as to say I'd liked it. Hmm. I'd go even as far as to say I'd do it again. Which I will, one more time, to do Evens Root. But now, it looks like you don't need me anymore. You'll be just fine since you're you. Even if the only thing I'll be able to remember in the future was this journey, then I'll be just fine. Well, that's enough sap for one situation. There's enough of the stuff here already anyway. Grant me this one last memento, will you? Even raises his hand into a picture frame to make a keepsake of this memory for the last time. Smiles, yell. Yeah. It suits you. And so, sometime after that, you were in town with Anton, waiting for Florian to come back from an errand. Not much has changed after that confession. Anton pretty much acts the same as he always did around me. Well, I wouldn't want it to be any other way, though. I just like him the way he is. But sometimes I wish I would he would initiate something, anything. Knowing Anton, I'd have to tell him up front, but... That's really embarrassing! Anton! Yes? Um... Is something the matter? No, everything's fine, just peachy. In that case, what is the matter? Uh... Anton gently pats your head. What? I remember being oblivious to your feelings before, so I hope that I can make it up to you now. All right. I brought the... Oh, never mind. I'll just give you two a moment. Ah, hey, wait, Florian. It's fine, we can go now. No, we can't. It looks like I completely forgot to bring the thing that I solely set out for. Silly me. I'll be back soon, ish. <laughs> Florian certainly seems to be leaving the two of us alone more often. Sheesh, I can't believe him. Though, I kind of appreciate it. Is that so? In that case, we'll have to use that time wisely. He's so... I am about to pass out. There are some things that I only open up to talk about when it's only the two of us, after all. 
Oh, right. Talk. Is something the matter? Nothing! Get your mind out of the gutter, CL. I see. If anything is ever out of order, please let me know. I am here for you, and I always will be. This time, I will stay by your side, no matter what may happen. Aww. Sometimes later, sometime later, you re uh, received an anonymous gift from someone. 2CL from a guardian angel. The end. Aww. Congratulations on finishing Magical Otoge CL. The Magical Otoge series isn't over yet, which I'm excited about. Look forward to what's in store. I will. And for you guys, look forward to next time when we start Evens Root and see how that changes the story. Uh, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye bye.